right, so we are all upgraded now to level four. Um, gives us access to quite a few new buildings. We have extra walls, 10 walls, another TIE Fighter Trap, two shield generators, Scout Tower. We've got um, another Barracks, a Hero Command, an additional credit market and alloy refinery. And we're going to have two extra turrets, and those can be rocket turrets. So quite a lot going on. Um, I'm going to get started building a few things, and we'll arrange the base. But we do have quite a bit of cash, so I'm probably going to upgrade the squad center first. Since uh, upgrading will allow me to hold two snipers at a unit cost of seven each. So that's going to be... Um, really helpful if we get attacked. Alright, so uh, we've got four idle droids, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the quad set. It's just going to take an, one day. Uh, next, um, I, I guess I could go into building these new buildings, um, but actually first I think I'm going to upgrade my research center so we can have access to those new units soon. Then, um, only because they'll, or only because they're able to be built right away. I'm just gonna go ahead and build all these walls, get them out of the way. Um, a few more droids, so let's go for the credit market and alloy refinery. And again, we're just gonna throw these out here. Uh, I'm not too worried ex about exactly where they're put now because we're gonna rearrange everything later. Um, now, I know these are only going to take a minute. Um, what I will do is continually upgrade them until they get to level 3 to equal the others, and then we'll start on some other buildings. Okay, so you can see we've been moving along pretty steadily here. I've got um, every building built, uh, every level 4 building built, except for the um, scout tower, which I'll uh, get into after a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of give an update here. Um, you can see we've got the two extra turrets, the, their rocket turrets. Um, we've got a uh, hero command. What else is new? Um, yeah, these couple uh, refineries and um, refinery and a market. So I started with the squad center research lab, then I moved on to the depots and building these. Um, new buildings that we had available at level four. I built all those, leveled them up to level three as I was doing these depots. Uh, barracks to level three, the new barracks. And uh, once once we get the, those going, see I've already got some um, level threes going out to level four now. I've got my shields, uh, both shields done. They're already at level two. Uh, this one's going to level three now. Got my uh, tie trap going to level four. We've got everything done in the research lab. It's all the level four except for a few units that I never use. Uh, the dubacks, the bikes, uh, these tanks. I've, I never use those during battle. Uh, bikes, though, are good for defensive uh, units, so you may have to donate those sometimes to your squad mates. But uh, you know, if they're higher level than you they'll uh, automatically upgrade to whichever level your um, squad member has them set to. The base design is, is okay right now. It's actually kind of reaching its limit uh, because it's really a level three base kind of um, squished into a um, level four here. You know, we've got some extra walls just kind of hanging around. We've got this uh, turret over here kind of getting pushed out of the wall. But I do have all my main uh, and important buildings set inside the wall, protected mostly with these shields. But um, you could keep it at this uh, design through level 4. Once you get to level 5, we definitely need to change it, and uh, I'm actually going to do another redesign of this in level 4. Uh, just so you can have another option. I'll do a, a corner base as well as a, um, just kind of like a center base like this. Um, you can see our defenses have been doing pretty good. Uh, this one guy, uh, level 5, 
uh, just attacked us with a huge amount of uh, infantry. Um, those rebel soldiers there and you know, barely got over 50%, so we actually did really good on that one. Uh, just the vast amount of soldiers he had was difficult for our two snipers to handle. But uh, I actually ended up going and uh, wiping him out in a revenge attack later. I did use my uh, squad center troops just to, to uh, make sure I got that 100%. Uh, attack wise we've been doing pretty good. Uh, getting a lot of um, high quality or you know, high amounts of resources. A lot of metals, as you can see my metal count has gone up to 868 so we're getting close to that thousand mark. That'll be pretty cool. Um, I want to go into these uh, hero, heroes a little bit. So the first hero you'll op open up is the veteran ATST. He's uh, you know just general guy, just shoots at everything, whatever's closest. I like him. Uh, I think when he gets leveled up, he's actually pretty decent. Uh, but I did unlock the ATMP Mark III, uh, who goes after turrets, which is really what I'm, I'm looking for when I'm attacking the base is to take out the defenses first and then worry about the buildings second. This guy's really good. Um, he'll just, you know, his volley of rocket attacks just, uh, you know, it's just really cool to watch. He takes out uh, turrets without a problem, although he is susceptible to rocket turrets, so definitely want to send in your dark troopers ahead of him to take that fire. Let's go through, uh, run through the battle real quick since uh, I've got full uh, capacity transports. Then I'll kind of show you how this uh, this loadout I'm using is working. Uh, kind of low resources, uh, weak base design. He's, all his walls are level 1 as you can see. He does have some uh, upgraded turrets though. So we're going to skip and uh, see if we can find somebody a little bit better. Real compact. He's got everything um, protected within these walls. Um, upgraded his walls. He probably has some tie traps uh, at those two entry points. Um, he's got two turrets under construction. That'll make it a little bit easier uh, if we're going to go take him out. I'd say, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, just those mortars are going to have to watch out. Uh, I'll send in these AT ST on this side to pull that mortar fire. Grab all those tie traps. Oh, they're not in there. One thing you always have to watch out for is these buildings that sometimes they'll cost you a star if you're not careful. Always keep a couple of stormtroopers or low level units in your uh, inventory to throw out there towards the very end if you have to. Okay, so um, one thing I've Definitely think is important to to take note of is uh, if you look at the Credit count right now. We've got about 92,000 um, I'm gonna run through and build the army that we Normally attack with 
So two AT STs. We're gonna do five of these dark troopers, and then um, the remainder is stormtroopers. Now we actually have another. What was it like 330 that we would normally spend since we salvaged those um, last three? So. You can see that uh, our troops cost us about, uh, now we're down to 84. It costs us about 7,500 credits just for our army. Yeah. So that's one thing you want to look at anytime you're attacking, um, just to break even. If you're using all of your troops, you need at least that much credits. So always be aware of that. Um, yeah, just keep it in mind when you're attacking and uh, when you're skipping bases as well because uh, right now it costs uh, yes, 200 credits just to find a match and then every time we skip it costs us another 200 so that factors in as well if you're you know, tight for money or just trying to save as much as you can for a building you want to keep that in mind yes, sir. okay so uh, I guess now I'm gonna go and do a base design You know, like I said, this base is actually pretty decent for a level four. It's okay. It's not um, ideal. Um, you know, like I said, it's kind of like a really like a level three base, pushing, you know, stretching, stretching out its clothes. I guess you could make that comparison um, as it's growing. So uh, we're gonna stash all these and. Uh, we're gonna start from scratch. Okay, so I'm back with the um, edited base design. Um, you actually see I've kind of moved along a little bit. I've got a good bit higher metal count and built uh, some extra buildings here. So I built the um, scout tower right here. Um, that's gonna enable, enable us to do the heroic defenses, which I'll show you in a second. Um, pretty much everything is leveled up to level four all of our turrets, uh, our shields, I mean, it's everything except for the headquarters, so we're just waiting on that one. And then we'll be going on to level 5. I've got uh, everything in here leveled up to its max, even the units I never use, just because we are maxed out on our credits and alloys, so just trying to get, you know, spend some money while, uh, if I can. So I'll go into the layout of the uh, base. Um, so it's pretty similar. This is the central design uh, still. It's pretty similar to the one before, just that I've kind of cleaned up the walls a little bit, um, set up my shields um, kind of uh, opposite each other now. So they're both covering the headquarters, squad center, our major, um, you know, uh, the important buildings like the depots. Um, then I've got uh, still the same amount of turrets, uh, rapid fire turrets on the corners, mortars in the middle, and uh, rocket turrets in the middle going this way. Um, that's been doing um, it's do been doing pretty good for us. Uh, you can see the defenses, um, pretty much all wins. You can't see some older ones uh, that were wins as well, but uh, this guy we lost to. Um, I had a, uh, I can't show you the replay, but I had, uh, he only got 20%. Um, I had this rocket turret and this shield uh, upgrading, so we were kind of um, kind of a little handicapped, but um, he ended up getting through this uh, corner right here, and just with a mass of troops, and just barely got the uh, headquarters before uh, our snipers could, could finish him off, so... Um, you know, we didn't really didn't lose any money. Uh, only lost a few medals. It's no, really no big deal. Um, you know, only twenty percent. So everything else has been pretty pretty good so far, uh, defense wise. Um, I'm not going to run through a battle yet. I want to do the uh, show you how the scout tower works. So this enables you to defend your base against uh, computer enemies. So it's telling you now that there's going to be mostly vehicles. Um, it's telling us to swap rocket turrets, but it's really... You know, if we were actually to do that, we'd spend, be spending so much alloy 
and time to do those uh, and for rewards that really aren't that amazing. They look like they're amazing. You know, possible rewards include you know, 100 crystals, unlock shock trooper, uh, but you'll probably get um, much, much less than this. Um, so like this is if you get one star, then uh, yeah, two stars and three stars. Um, so I'll just, I'll show you how to do this. We can use our squad troops and uh, the heroes we have in our hero command. So I'll throw out a hero on that side and then one on this side. I'm going to keep them separated so they can cover as much ground as possible. And then uh, we can use our squad troops if we need to. Looks like maybe, yeah, maybe I should use them over here. Maybe kind of on the so whenever I do these uh, defenses, I just make sure I spread my troops out. Uh, because the enemy does attack from, usually from all sides. This one looks pretty easy, actually. I think that's a nice little bit. So we're done. Ready for action. Okay, let's see what we won here. Five rancors. That's pretty cool. Um, but then we do end up having to uh, rearm our uh, traps if they got uh, triggered. And then we'll have to request more troops. We're going to also have to mobilize more heroes, uh, so then that ends up costing us money, so um, you know, don't expect to get a lot out of it. Uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but it's, it's still fun to play. Can request some defensive troops. snipers and then uh, once our uh, hero is ready we're gonna go ahead and do a battle so I can show you guys how the current loadout works um, right now I'm using two ATSTs five dark troopers ten stormies and two scout troopers the scout troopers are good for hitting those resource buildings they can um, take them out much quicker than a regular stormy can so and uh, one other thing we can look at here, uh, these, uh, you see this Maz uh, character? So she's got these um, objectives here, which are pretty special. They're not like the normal objectives that you'll see. Um, whenever Maz comes along, you definitely want to do these uh, as, you know, if, you know, before the time runs out, because some of the uh, bonuses are really, really cool. Kuba's invaders, uh, those guys are amazing at taking out shields. They're always good if you're doing a squad war. I remember getting some uh, interesting rancors uh, through these objectives sometimes. So I definitely want to do those. Uh, there was also something else on the home page. You want to make sure you. Uh, Check this out every now and again because um, they'll have special units that you can claim. Uh, so yeah, we just got we got some free Kubaz invaders. I can't show them to you because the headquarters is under construction, but they're in our inventory there. Whenever you want to use them. So I'm gonna wait for this hero to mobilize, and uh, then we're gonna be off to a battle. All right, so our hero is done. Uh, we're gonna go do a battle, so I can show you how the um, current loadout is working. Uh, the guys we've been coming up against uh, have been a little higher in quality. Uh, this guy's got way too many rocket turrets. Um, never do this, just because if I didn't have any mechanized units like vehicles, um, these guys wouldn't stand a chance. Um, they're just really not that strong against um, infantry. Uh, but since I kind of have a mixture, I'll skip him. 
Um, but I don't know. Still, it's just a. It's not a really good way to set up your base with all the same types of rocket turrets, or any turret for that that matter. Um, let's see this guy. Uh, base is kind of spread out. Uh, it's not really that great of a design. It's there's really no no structure here. Um, it doesn't look very fun to attack, so let's skip that. Oh, a lot of um, a lot of the same turrets in here as well. Let's skip this guy. All right, here's an interesting looking base. Um, he's kind of got buildings spread out everywhere. You want to make sure you look over the whole map before you head on in because uh, some of these outlying buildings can get you sometimes and prevent you from getting that one star, you know, that one last star. So, um, I mean, this guy's done good. He's protected his headquarters pretty good, uh, you know, with both shields. I guess we're going to go in and attack. Um, I'm going to start from this right side, deploy some uh, dark troopers. Um, I need to take out that uh, rocket turret soon. You can see the ATMP is really just working the guy with the rockets. Um, I'm sending my some stormies out on the corners to take out those buildings. See my darks have uh, bunched up together, which is kind of hurting them because the uh, that mortar is hitting them. I'm clicking damage on everybody. Uh, they took it out. So I'm, I've started carrying these two scouts, um, like I said, to take out these depots, and um, they're doing really well. But they, they only go after resource buildings until those are destroyed, so they may walk into some fire. Not careful. had no walls there, or if you had those low level walls and didn't upgrade them, we would not be able to get that last turret, or this last building for that matter. Did we get it? Oh, so close, one second left. The workhorse AT-80. AT ATST. So you can see we're not getting any, really any resources just because we're kind of maxed out, but um, you know, we'll get some points for the conflict. Okay, so that's it so far. I'm going to go in and uh, redesign the base and do a corner style base, uh, just so you can see how that looks uh, at level 4. Alright, so here is the corner base design. So, um, basically what I did here was I set it up on the left hand side um, the reason for that being if the attacker is right-handed, uh, which the majority majority of the population is, by having to use the right hand to drop troops on the left side, then the hand covers the base, so it's harder to see what's going on. Uh, it's harder to see if squad troops are coming out, it's harder to um, see where your guys are going when you're kind of frantically trying to throw troops down, so um, that's why we did that. Um, see, I've got both my traps at opposite ends, one in that corner, because if they do throw down troops down there in that left corner, uh, which is uh, often a attack strategy when hitting corner bases, um, if he's smart, he'll throw one uh, scout right there 
to set the trap off, but many people don't, and if they throw all their troops down at the same time, or even plenty of them, uh, a lot of them will die in, you know, right off the bat. So the same goes uh, for this trap on the right side. Uh, that's probably also going to be an entry point. Um, the turrets are spaced out a little differently. We want to have a lot of uh, firepower in this back corner because that's where our headquarters is closest to. So depending on what he uh, attacks with in that corner, we want to have as much protecting us back there as possible. Uh, these mortar turrets cover uh, most of that back corner as well. Then uh, squad center gives nice coverage also. Once they get in, if they get in from the left corner, once they get uh, to that rocket turret, or, uh, that'll engage the squad center. Then um, we've got some buildings out here, the transports, factory, those are all high hit point buildings, so we want to put those where we don't have the walls. And uh, since I don't have enough walls to make a full uh, enclosure, I set these walls uh, just to kind of, um, you know, they get in the way right there. So, so the attacker just has more trouble entering, and you know, if they have to shoot through, you know, one wall, it's still going to slow them down. So uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, you know, I've got a couple barracks, high hit point buildings right there. I do have two of my um, markets outside of the walls, which I'm not crazy about, but you know, it's really the best way to do this design. So, uh, you know, this is a good design if you want to go with that uh, instead of the centered base design. But um, you know, I probably prefer the centered base design. But uh, I'll give this a go uh, for the next day and see if uh, we have any attacks and see how it plays out. But it uh, should do pretty good. Uh, I'm going to run through one more attack just so you can see uh, a little bit more strategy. Spread out design. Um, all of his uh, resources over here are completely unprotected. Uh, if I were looking for money, I would definitely attack this guy. But let's see if we can find somebody who's a little uh, more difficult. Alright, this guy looks pretty good. Um, he's got a good design. Uh, you know, his, his headquarters is completely encapsulated with a wall. Um, it's a little bit open on this right side, though. I bet if I... Um, a few troops down in there they could get to that headquarters easily you know and then he's got his level one wall up there um, it's okay he's got a lot of alloy and credits uh, let's go on to somebody else all right this guy is looking pretty good um, you know he's got all his buildings outside the walls uh, which you know is you know some people do that um i think it's a uh, you know, if, if he gets attacked, he may save his headquarters, but you can easily get 50% of the base and all the money. So uh, I, I don't prefer this style. But uh, you know, let's let's go for it. This is a pretty typical design. So um, what I'll do first is uh, I need to take out these shields. So I'm gonna throw down my um, hero, both ATSDs. Once they take that shield out, dark should be able to enter the wall. Well. I'm 
dark slash for two over the fire from that rocket here, so our hero's gonna hit pretty bad. Expect to take out that H2 in the sun. That's pretty much it for level 4. I'm going to um, be upgrading. Uh, it'll be just less than a day. Uh, I'm going to keep doing some battles just because I would like to I'd like to get uh, win these Maz's Maz objectives. And I may do the tattooing battle as well to up unlock this, uh, the shock trooper. So um, I guess I'll see you at level 5. I may um, maybe a while until I finish that tutorial just because level 5 uh, is going to take a while longer. We're going to have a lot more buildings to work with, a lot more upgrades to do. But we're going to keep on playing this awesome game, and um, I'll see you at level 5. Thanks for watching. Actually, scratch that. I don't have a uh, level 5 tutorial in the works, um, and this video is actually quite old. I am already um, have this account up to a level 8 right now. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't do very many uh, videos during that span of time. Um, I'm really just focusing on right now uh, doing a lot of level 10 uh, battles. But at this time, it really nothing in the works. I would like to make a shout out to Pete Zahut. He's the newest member of our fire team Blunder Squad. It's a new squad that uh, I'm in. Um, great group of guys. Uh, really friendly, helpful squad. Uh, if you're interested in joining a, a good squad, we do a lot of wars. Um, Everybody remains pretty active. Uh, check us out at fireteam-blunder. Uh, thanks again for watching. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am.